Hey guys, it's Luke here. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how we used the Facebook Messenger bot to sell out our last campaign uh, that we ran through Facebook. This one was particularly um, a really good campaign, and the reason is we only had a very small budget and we had to sell a lot of tickets. Um, so essentially what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how I built the bot and how you guys can build in your tickets and sell your tickets directly through Facebook Messenger, meaning that people don't actually have to go out of Facebook to purchase the ticket. Now, it's it's um, there's a little bit of work involved to do this, but in my opinion, it is well worth it. So um, I'm going to run you through how I did it, how I built it, and then I'm going to give you the actual Facebook template, like the Messenger template, so that you can take it and put your own event into this little funnel that I'm going to build for you. All right, so I'm in a program here, and um, this one here essentially sort of gives you the building blocks and all of these different cards to build the Messenger bot. And uh, it's it's a really, really good little program, and uh, I use it to sell um, a lot of different things, not just events. Um, as a digital marketer, um, events is what I specialize in, but you can, you can sell physical products, you can sell... Um, subscriptions to things it's extremely powerful so the first card is is quite important because you can't there's some limitations with what you can do because this is the start of the sales funnel so you can't one of the things you can't do is you can't use a person's name in this first card they, this is kind of like the invitation into the sales funnel that you have to take people through so I give it kind of generic and just remind them why they're starting this engagement with you. So we go, hey, um, thanks for checking out our, actually, let's go, thanks for showing interest in our copywriting event in December. Now, I'm just making this up completely. This is just, this is not an actual event. Um, we're really, excited to have some of the world's best copywriters on the stage ready to get started so I always invite people to take that next step and with this this messenger bot you kind of have to do that you have to sort of tell them what you want them to do so I just say you ready to take the step click the yep button below and you can see there's a little like ad preview um, over here on the right so what we want to do is I just add a quick reply you can add a button but the quick replies uh, are easier for people to engage with so we'll do that let's go yep and um, sometimes I've just put like a little emoji in there I think it looks kind of cool so we'll just go yep so there you go there's a little button over here now I don't give people the option to say no because obviously I really want them to come through my little funnel here and, and, and come to the event. So um, once we do that, we want to make this interaction as human as possible. So um, what I tend to do is click this button here, which is called the Flow Builder. All right. So you can see now I can kind of like move this card around and I can scroll in and out of the workflow so what I'll do is I'm gonna to move to the next card after this is essentially the next step after somebody clicks yes so you can see I can drag and drop and what I want to do is go send message now because as soon as people click that first little um, little button down there Facebook knows they're taking an engagement with you and then they kind of open up what you can do with that person so this is where you can say, thanks, first name, and it'll grab their information from their Facebook profile and allow you to start using that. So um, we can make the interaction uh, much more personal now. It's really cool. Thanks, first name. Um, we know this year's event will be um, incredible. Um, you, uh, oh, 
Mm. Okay, sorry, I don't know what happened there. It just accidentally closed on me. So, thanks. First name. We can't wait for this year's event. Um, we are offering three early bird ticket prices for the copywriting elite um, 2018 event. Again, I'm just making all this up. It's not an actual event, so. Um, would you like to find out more about the event? Yeah, okay. So you can, again, you can use the quick replies or you can use buttons. Um, I'll explain the, the reason you would use a button in just a moment, but just for this one, I'm just gonna go, yep, or um, you might put something in here like ask, speak with someone. Well, actually, maybe we'll go. Um, would you like more sales about the event? Yep. Okay. I'm going to keep it high level. I'll just say yes so that they can find out. We just want to lead them straight through that little that little mini sales funnel. So we go. Yep. Okay, fantastic. Um, here's the um, event. All right, so at this stage here, essentially what we've done, we've taken three steps. So, um, hey, they're showing interest, they're engaging with the bot. You can see that's the starting step. They've clicked yet. And then it's like, hey, yep, fantastic. Thanks for, for saying that you're interested in coming. Do you want to find out more about the event? Okay, here's the event program. So I'm just sort of taking them through what they should expect um, at the event. So um, here you can allow them to download a PDF and actually check out the full program so that they, they know what they're going to get when they come along to this event. So basically what you do is you drag and drop the little tile from down the bottom here and you would click file and let's just say let's we'll just use that one there okay you'll see it's got the little paper clip it's now uploaded that document so now what we want to do is we want to obviously sell the tickets now um, there's a lot of different ways you can sort of do this in a sales format but what we're going to do, we'll just keep it quite simple, then we'll go, um, did you want to check out, did you want to see our early bird prices for the event? Okay, now before, before I sort of take them through this part of the funnel, what I want to show you is this little guy here, it's called the delay. And essentially that's kind of like when you have an engagement with a friend or someone through Facebook Messenger, there's generally, you'll see like that little typing um, delay down the bottom as if somebody's replying. And it makes this whole interaction feel much more fluid and much more real. So you can just drag and drop that little tile up here into the conversation and you can set the delay. So how long you would see that um, you know that typing action and it looks really cool so I always add that in okay so they've just said here's the event program they've got the PDF now do you want to see the pricing so um, we obviously want them to do that so we just say yes can't wait okay so from here new card all right now let's say you had an event that had different pricing for different seating. This one here, the gallery, works quite well. So um, you would add a picture. I'm just gonna add, which is to say, these pictures here are copywriting event pictures. So you add a tile and we'll just go um, general admission and we'll go 
$49. dollars um, Okay, so we've just got general admission uh, for the copywriting beginner. Um, all right, so that's our card, and we're going to add another card in just a second. But you can see we can add a button, and this is where we add the actual purchasing of the ticket. So, um, so we got we've got the buy button. So we click that. And what we want to do here is we'll just go $49 um, general admission. Okay, so I'm in Australia, so my pricing here is in AUD, but you can change this to whatever you want. So if you're in the UK or you're in the United States, you can put whatever you want as the pricing. Um, or maybe you've got a worldwide event, you can run the bot to, to different parts of the world. So we'll just put in 49. Now the item name, if you hover over here, this is what they're going to see um, in the order history. So the client doesn't actually see this. This is just so you know what it is. Um, so we'll just go copywriting 49. Now what event information do you want to capture when somebody's making this purchase? So the email is obviously important because you want to uh, send them the actual ticket. I generally just get the whole lot. If there's something I have to send the person in the mail, you, you're going to need their shipping address. But it's important anyway to build your database. You want to have all of these here ticked. Okay, so click done. All right. So you can see that this is red. So that means that what, basically, it's saying to you that this is not doing anything. It's not going anywhere. So I'm going to show you that next step in a moment. But before we do that, we're just going to add two other ticket types. Okay, so let's go $89 silver seating ticket. So add another buy button for that one. Put in our price. We'll just go 89 silver seat. Grab the user's details. Hit done. And then we'll add one more, which is a VIP ticket. Alright, so if I zoom out, you can see now that I've got sort of these, all of these different cards and there's a lot more, there's a lot more you can do here. I'm only sort of showing you the basics just so that, you know, if you want to do this for your own event, you can do it. Um, I'll give you the free template, which will just have the bare bones that you can take. Um, or if, if you want me to build it for you, reach out and I'm happy to help you out with that one. Okay, so at the moment, once somebody purchases this ticket, it's not doing anything. So we want to kind of like build out what happens after that. So um, just to make this video kind of short, I'll just make one card that each of these tickets would go to. So we'll go All right, so basically what I'm doing here is just saying thank you for your ticket purchase. We're going to email that to you shortly. Um, which you can set up, I can set up automation for this type of thing. So if that's, if that's ever something you want, just reach out and I can help you with that. Now, what's really cool is you can sort of ask them to share the event. So if you want to sell tickets quicker, one of the best ways to do that is to get them to share that they're coming to the event through social media. So we're going to add a button here that says, um, where is it? Uh, okay, no, sorry. I'm going to add it. So we'll just go image and we'll just put in this one here. We'll go share event. Okay, so we'll go share card like that. So now, when people get to this stage in the little funnel, they've purchased their ticket and we want to promote them to bring a friend. 
all they'd have to do is click that little button there. It's going to take all the details about the event and they can share it directly to their social media profiles. That's really cool. So we'll do that. Now what I'm going to do is take each of these cards and put them all to that one, that one um, thank you message just to make things just a little bit easier for us. Okay, now this, this little program here also has this neat function that sort of auto aligns everything because you can imagine when you start doing events that have a lot of moving parts and different things that are going to happen, you might even have the event program inside the, the bot um, that people can see day to day structure. Click this button here and there we go, it just puts everything in a line, it's really cool. All right, so let's um, let's do okay. So we'll leave it like that. Just put in one of these little typing delays like that. Okay, so that's that's kind of like the bare bones um, for the structure of the event bot. Now you could literally spend so much more time here building automation and um, making the flow really, really, like, very professional. Um, but just, just to sell a very basic event, this is all you need. So what I'm going to do now is I'll hit preview. And what's going to happen is it's going to open in Messenger, and I'm going to be able to see this actual flow. So we'll do that now. Okay, all right. But, uh, right, so it's telling me this button's too long. So we'll just go... Okay, so I've jumped to Messenger. Hey, thanks for showing interest in the copywriting event in December. We're really excited to have some of the world's best copywriters on stage. Ready to get started? Yes. Okay, thanks Luke. We can't wait for this year's event. We're offering three early bird tickets prices for the copywriting elite program. Would you like to find out more? Yes. Fantastic. Here's the event program. Got the world's best copywriters on stage. Uh, the two-day event is jam-packed with the very best sales funnel copy info. Check it out. So you can download the PDF there. Uh, did you want to see the prices for Early Bird? Yes. All right. So there's the little cards we made. You can see you can scroll through them, which makes them really interactive. And you can actually just click um, the the buttons that we created down the bottom there. So. If I would click that now, I'm going to get this pop-up to make the purchase of my ticket. Um, this is all preview mode, and you can see I'd fill in my name, email, country, and then my card number, expiration, and CVC, and then click pay. Now, on mobile, this works really, really well. Like it looks so slick and it's so easy to use, but also works really well on desktop too. Okay, so obviously don't want to check out, but then. The next part of the the event flow would be taking me to this card here. So it'd be like, hey, thanks for your purchase. We'll email you the ticket. Now, you do need some automation. If you're gonna actually use this to sell tickets, you do need some automation behind this before you can do that. So um, just reach out to me, I can help you with that. All right, and then, yeah, they'd get the thank you message and the share card, and that's it. That's as simple as it is. Um, you do need the paid program or the pro version to actually um, sell tickets. Now it's, it's really cheap. It's only like ten dollars a month for five hundred subscribers, and that that pricing module sort of creeps up as you sell more tickets. So it's not like you know ten dollars and then you go to like ninety nine dollars. It's kind of like ten and then twenty and then thirty. The more people you have in your subscriber list. All right, so that's it for the video, guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. And uh, using Facebook Messenger to sell tickets for your event is such an incredible way to do it. So um, any questions, just leave them below. Thanks a lot.